What you won't do, somebody else will. That's what the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is saying to teachers who have decided to heed the calls of their union and abandon classroom duties in protest of the prevailing vaccination mandate. Speaking on national radio this week, Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez said that his government is exploring the issuance of short-term contracts to temporary teachers, including retirees, to fill in for educators who are currently spending their days ensconced in staff rooms instead of in front of their students. We have an obligation for the safety of the children. And that is an obligation which is high on the totem pole. Talking about the health of the children. Also an obligation very high on the totem pole is the education of the children. So if you want to go to school and stay in your staff room, I will instruct the Ministry of Education to hire other teachers to go and teach. Indeed, I've given them instructions if need be, not only there but anywhere else, to hire retired teachers, take them on short-term contracts. And what I will do for those teachers who are, who are retired, on short term, who, who, are, who, are, who are retired, I will make a cabinet decision that they will continue to get their pension and whatever payment they get under the new contract. Gonzalez's comments came on day two of protests at the West St. George Secondary School. According to reports, teachers at this institution say they are standing in solidarity with their colleagues who face unemployment after failing to comply with the government's mandates. While the 10-day period for police officers to get vaccinated expired on Wednesday, teachers and other civil servants have until Friday, December 3rd to receive a vaccine or obtain an exemption, medical or religious. If they fail to satisfy one of these criteria, their posts will be deemed abandoned. Local press outlets report that about 35% of the 31-member teaching staff at West St. George remains unvaccinated, but over 90% were engaged in the sit-ins, which took place last Friday and this Wednesday. The staff arrived dressed in black, signed their daily registers, and then proceeded to the staff room where they remained for the entire school day. Sources told Eyewitness News that another sit-in is in progress as of today, Thursday. Prime Minister Gonzalez implored the teachers to consider the impact their, their behavior is having on the students who have already lost out considerably due to the pandemic. I'm asking my brothers and sisters who are teaching in West St. George, please, don't punish the students. Huh? Don't punish students. By going to school and not teaching the students in not you hurt people who don't deserve to be hurt and you're doing so on a basis which is not rational please despite this he reiterated that the teachers would not be forcibly removed from the compound despite a policy dictating that staff who have not complied with the mandates are not to be allowed in their workspaces